am so happy and thrilled. We have Indy Lindy, Lindy <laughs> Ortega in studio. Oh, girl, your voice. I, I can't describe it. I mean, it is something so unusual, but so extraordinary. Thank you. Okay, so we want to know everything about you, Lindy. I mean, okay, originally from Toronto, but now where do you live? I live in Nashville, Tennessee. Oh, the place for country. Yes, it's <laughs> the hub for country music for sure. Okay, sold everything just to move it out to Nashville? I did, yeah. I sold everything in my apartment, got a little cargo van, and just uh, hightailed it across the border, and now I'm living in the music city. stranger to this scene. You've been around for a while and you've done a lot of interesting things. So a backup singer with Brandon Flowers, The Killers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I did that for a little bit. Um, it was definitely an interesting opportunity. I got to learn a whole lot about that level of, um, you know, music. It's definitely a higher level than anything I've ever done before. So we got to do the Jay Leno show and um, got to do a bunch of festivals and be on a big tour bus. So it was really interesting. It was a good learning experience for me. But your music now, the heart and soul, like when you sing a song, we feel it, Lindy. <laughs> so do I. <laughs> yeah, it comes right from my heart and soul, that's for sure. And uh, it's a great pleasure to be able to sing and perform for people. And it's a different sound. Like, it's country, but it's not country. It's rock, but it's not rock. Yeah, it's a little, it's a little bit of a sort of amalgamation of all the influences that, that I have. I'm a huge um, outlaw country fan, so that plays a big role in the kind of music that I make. But I love roots, and I love folk, and I love rock, and I love deep south and blues. So it all kind of gets its way in there somehow. to admit not your usual girly pop music. No. So, <laughs> family, did your family have an influence on your music? Uh, my mom did because she was a big country music fan when I was growing up so a lot of her, um, the music that she listened to highly influenced what I do and then my dad was a bass player in a Latino band when I was growing up so he's the one that had all the instruments available for me to learn and pick up. Fun and big news this year, two nominations for the Junos. Yeah. Pretty excited about, about all that? I was very excited. I was uh, blown away. I wasn't expecting any of that. So when I found out, I kind of didn't believe it for a long time. And it was all very surreal as it was happening. So, But I had a great time. It was really cool to meet a lot of fellow singer-songwriters out there. And um, yeah, I just had a, a good time. Brought my, my parents along as my date. So <laughs> it was great. OK, now on the road, on tour, five dates in Canada and then into the US, promoting this album, of course, Little Red Boots. Let's talk about the Red Boots. There's a little bit of a story, a background on how you got them. And yeah, um, I was uh, on a songwriting trip in Nashville and I wanted a pair of Red Boots. And um, I was a big fan of Wonder Woman and she had Red Boots when I was growing up. So um, I, I thought they would bring me superpowers or something in my mind. But I'm not a blue, but I'm people in Nashville, Colin Linden, I mean, he's huge. Yeah. What have you learned from working with someone like that? Oh, he's just such a wonderful guy. I just love him and I love his work ethic and what he brought to the recordings. And he's a huge fan of the blues and um, it's something that I've really been getting into since visiting New Orleans and the Deep South. So um, there, it definitely finds its way in there, especially through his love of it as well as my new discovery of it. So um, yeah, he's, he's just an amazing guy and I'm happy to be working with him. So much experience and maturity in your voice and in your songwriting. Um, we talked about New Orleans before we started this interview and being connected with a place. Tell us about filming your video in New Orleans. Yeah, that was an amazing, probably one of the most amazing experiences of my entire life was we actually went to the swamp and we were in an island in the middle of the swamp and there were alligators literally everywhere. There was one that just had had hatched eggs so it didn't want us there and it kept <laughs> trying to get onto the land as we were filming the video. But it was just really, really beautiful. The swamp is a, is a beautiful place and especially at 5 a.m. when the sort of the mist 
mist is rolling across the water and the Spanish moss is hanging over the trees and all the sounds and I just felt very connected to it. All through the treetops and across the sky I sink to the ocean. I yeah, I had fire ants crawl into my boots <laughs> during the shoot. So um, I had like horrible fire ant bites um, oh for like two weeks and they took forever to heal. But it was it was really actually it was an amazing experience. So I, don't, I won't complain about that. No. And you know what? I think when you, I guess, become connected with a place, it can only inspire you, right? And it your music. It was incredibly inspiring for sure. And I do intend to go back there and get more inspired eventually for more records to come. Oh, yes, <laughs> most definitely. Well, we're so happy that you stopped by here. Lindy Ortega, Little Red Boots. We don't need to say anymore. She, what, she doesn't have fire ants in her boots right now. <laughs> Not thanks, right folks. now. <laughs> but all the best to Thank you, girl. Thank you so much. Thank and you. And next time, maybe a Juno. I hope so. <laughs> For Backstage, I'm Tracy Coburn. No, I'm not a blue.